Hi, Grade 8, and welcome back to DepEd TV. I'm Teacher Joshua, your Mathematics Learning Guide, here to help you to face the mathematical challenges ahead. Today, we will learn another method in solving systems of linear equations. We will apply our knowledge in performing fundamental operations in order to manipulate some equations. So buckle up, get your self-learning module, pen and papers, and let's have a wonderful day in solving systems of linear equations by elimination. But first, can you solve my number riddle? There are two numbers we will locate. Together, they are 54, but apart, they are 8. Can you think of which two numbers are being described here? We can break this riddle into two parts. The first one with the phrase, when together are 54. It suggests that the sum of these two numbers is 54. Next, it is said that when apart, they are 8. We can associate this with the distance between the two numbers or their difference. Since we do not know the numbers, we can represent them using the variables x and y. Let x be the first number and y be the second number. Since we know the sum, we can say that x plus y equals 54. Next, we also know the difference of the numbers, which is 8. So we can write x minus y equals 8. What mathematical concept can you remember in this set of equations? This is a system of linear equations in two variables also called simultaneous equations. In the last few episodes, we learned how to solve the system by graphing and by substitution. Today, we will use another way called elimination. It is a method where we manipulate the equations by adding the terms such that the variable will be eliminated. Look again at our system. Let us use the first equation. Next. By the addition property of equality, we can add any real number to both sides of the equation, and the mathematical statement will still hold true. In this example, let us add 8. So x plus y plus 8 equals 54 plus 8. Then since we know that the difference of the two numbers is 8, we can substitute x minus y to 8 on the left side of the equation x plus y plus x minus y is equal to 54 plus 8. Combining like terms, we will have 2x is equal to 62. Observe that we have eliminated y. Now to solve for x, we can use the multiplication property of equality by multiplying one half to both sides of the equation. And we will have x equals 31. Now, what is the second number? We can use either equation in the given system to solve for y by substituting 31 to x. Let us use the first equation again. So, 31 plus y equals 54. We can add negative 31 to both sides of the equation by the addition property of equality. So we will have y equals 54 minus 31, which is 23. Therefore, the answer to our riddle are 31 and 23. Also, the solution to the system is given by the ordered pair 31, 23. Let us answer another riddle. Guess the two numbers I have seen. Their sum is 5, the difference is 15. We can set up a system of linear equations based on the given riddle. Do you know what the equations are? If you answered x plus y is equal to 5 and x minus y is equal to 15, you are correct. But also, remember that you must represent your unknowns properly. There is another way to eliminate terms in our equations. That is, to simply get the sum of the expressions on the left side of the equation, 
equal to the sum of the expressions on the right side of the equations. Since the expressions on the left side is equal to the right side of the equation, in this case, x plus y plus x minus y equals 5 plus 15. Then, we will combine like terms. So the equation will be 2x equals 20. Then multiplying one half to both sides of the equation, what will be the value of x? x is equal to 10. Now, what is the value of y? We can substitute 10 to x in any of the given equations. So let us use the second equation, x minus y equals 15. 10 minus y equals 15. With the addition property of equality, this will be negative y equals 15 minus 10 or 5. Then, we multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1. Hence, the value of y is negative 5. Thus, the answer to the second riddle is 10 and negative 5. This also means that the solution to the given system is the ordered pair 10, negative 5. Solving by elimination is also called the addition method. Since we use the addition property of equality to add expressions on the left side and on the right side of the equations. Be reminded that it will be easier and helpful if both equations are in standard form. But there are cases that the terms will not be eliminated just by addition. Speaking of elimination, one of the most difficult things to remove or eliminate is waste. The average amount of trash a Filipino household generates per day is 3.2 kilograms. And as a way to reduce that waste, we recycle plastic containers, avoid single-use plastic, bring reusable bags for groceries, and even sell used paper and containers to the local junk shop. Let us take this example. Manuel has collected a total of 7 kilograms of white and colored paper. He sold it for 46 pesos. If a kilogram of white paper can be sold for 8 pesos, and a kilogram of colored paper can be sold for 3 pesos, how many of each type of paper Manuel has? If we let x be the number of kilograms of white paper, and y be the number of kilograms of colored paper, then we can have the system of equations x plus y equals 7, and 8x plus 3y equals 46. If we directly add the expressions on the left and on the right side of the equations, we will get 9x plus 4y equals 53. Our goal is to solve for the value of an unknown variable by eliminating one of them. In this case, we did not. What we can do is use the multiplication property of equality and multiply both sides of the equation such that one of the terms has a coefficient that is an additive inverse of the term in the other equation. It sounds difficult, but I know you can handle it. First thing to do is to decide which variable you want to solve for first. Let us say, that in this example, we want to eliminate x to solve for y. The coefficient of x in the first equation is 1, while on the second equation, the coefficient is 8. What can we do such that this will be additive inverses? We can multiply negative 8 to both sides of the first equation. So we can have negative 8x minus 8y equals negative 56. And then retain the second equation, 8x plus 3y equals 46. Now we can add the expressions to form the equation. Negative 8x minus 8y plus 8x plus 3y equals to negative 56 plus 46. What will the resulting equation be? 
So negative 5y equals negative 10. How can we solve for y here? Using the multiplication property of equality, multiplying both sides of the equation by negative one-fifth, we will have y equals positive 2. We can substitute y equals 2 to the first equation. So x plus 2 equals 7, which means x is equal to 5. Therefore, Manuel solved 5 kilograms of white paper and 2 kilograms of colored paper. Now, try this. Manuel has a sister named Naomi. Like his brother, she also collects recyclables and sells them to the junk shop. One day, they sold plastic bottles and discarded steel. Manuel earned 60 pesos for 4 kilograms of plastic bottles and 3 kilograms of steel. While Naomi sold 3 kilograms of plastic bottles and 2 kilograms of steel for 42 pesos. How much is a kilogram of discarded steel sold for? We must first create a mathematical model that represents Manuel and Naomi's earnings. Let X be the price of plastic bottles per kilogram, while Y be the price of steel per kilogram. Based on the problem, Manuel's earnings can be written as 4 kilograms times the price of plastic bottles or 4x plus 3 kilograms times the price of steel or 3y equal to 60 pesos. While Naomi has 3 kilograms of plastic bottles and 2 kilograms of steel for a total amount of 42 pesos. Can you recall what is asked? We are asked only about the price of steel per kilogram, which is represented by the variable y. Since we now know what we will find, we can say that we need to eliminate x to solve for y. But observe that they do not have the same coefficients nor multiples or factors of each other. So what can we do to make them additive inverses of each other? We can multiply both sides of the first equation by positive 3 and both sides of the second equation by negative 4 such that the coefficients of x are 12x and negative 12x respectively. Again, we did not really change the equations that much since we used the multiplication property of equality. Now let us continue. What will the first equation become after multiplying by 3? The first equation will be 12x plus 9y equals 180. How about the second equation after multiplying by negative 4? The second equation will be negative 12x minus 8y equals negative 168. Next, let us add the terms in the left side of both equations. 12x plus 9y minus 12x minus 8y. It is equal to the sum of the constant terms of both equations, 180 plus negative 168. Combining like terms, what will be the value of y? y is equal to 12. Therefore, the price of discarded steel per kilogram is 12 pesos. These problems are good reminders for us not only about that there is money in someone else's trash, but also the positive effects of eliminating waste through proper practices of recycling. And there you have it! That is how we solve systems of linear equations using elimination. As you practice, in time, solving systems will be intuitive for you. So let us have a recap. To solve a system of linear equations by elimination, it is easier to write the equations in standard form first. We can eliminate an unknown value provided they are additive inverses of each other. If they are not, we can use the multiplication property of equality 
to make them so. Then, we add the expressions on the left side of both equations, and it is equal to the sum of the expressions on the right side of the equation. Then proceed on solving the linear equation. Do not forget to substitute the resulting value to one of the equations to complete your solution. And again, an ordered pair xy is a solution to the system of linear equations if it satisfies all equations in the system. I know that you have learned a lot in this endeavor of solving systems by elimination or by the addition method. Now let us see and evaluate what you have learned. Let's answer some exercises. Number 1. The sum of two numbers is 25, while their difference is 3. Which of the following systems best represent the given statement? A. x plus y equals 3 and x minus y equals 25. B x plus y equals 25 and x minus y equals 3 c y equals x plus 3 and y equals x minus 25 or d y equals x minus 3 and y equals x plus 25. The correct answer is letter b. The sum is 25 x plus y equals 25, and the difference is 3, x minus y equals 3. Number 2. What is the solution to the system? A. 13, 10 B. 15, 10 C. 14, 11 or D. 16, 11 The answer is letter C. The sum of 14 and 11 is 25, while their difference is 3. Number 3. Given the system x plus 3y equals 7 and 2x minus y equals 0, what will you do in order to eliminate the variable x? A. Multiply both sides of the first equation by positive 2. B. Multiply both sides of the first equation by negative 2. C. Multiply both sides of the second equation by positive 3. Or D. Multiply both sides of the second equation by negative 3. The coefficients of x must be additive inverses of each other. So we can multiply both sides of the first equation by negative 2. So it will become negative 2x minus 6y equals negative 14. Hence, the answer is letter B. Number 4. What is the value of y in the previous system of equations? A. Negative 7 B. Negative 2 C. Positive 2 or D. Positive 7 Since we can eliminate x in the previous item, we will have negative 7y equals negative 14 after adding the terms on the left side and the right side of the equations. Therefore, the value of y is letter C, positive 2. Number 5. What is the value of x in the previous system? Is it a, 0, b, 1, C, 2, or D, 3. Again, we have the value of Y, which is 2. To solve for X given the value of Y, we just substitute Y equals 2 to any of the equations since it must satisfy both. Hence, X is equal to 1, letter B. Moreover, the solution to the system is 1, 2. Did you get them all correctly? I know that you can do it. Keep on polishing your skills with your self-learning module 
and you will be a master of mathematics in no time. Can you believe it? That is our last lesson for the first quarter of grade 8 mathematics. I hope that you have learned a lot not just in our today's lesson, but in every topic in factoring, the rational algebraic expressions, the rectangular coordinate system, the equation of the line, and the system of linear equations. Apply not just the concepts but also the skills and sense of responsibility you have acquired. Remember that you can review the previous episodes on the DepEd official YouTube channel because some of these lessons are prerequisites in our next quarter and for the succeeding grade levels. With that, math is not only about numbers and operations. It is an exercise for our minds for us to be critical, logical, and responsible thinkers. Again, this is Teacher Joshua reminding you to always practice, do it with a positive attitude and a smile on your face. See you next quarter for a math terrific day here at DepEd TV.